Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Gran Turismo. If you thought Hollywood only just got spun up on doing video game movies, you'd be sadly mistaken. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 11 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Orlando Bloom and David Arbor star as uh, two dudes who are, I don't know, it's basically a two-hour video game commercial. Again, that's what these are essentially, in my view. So Gran Turismo is the racing game, and the premise of the movie is the hilarious premise that uh, there's going to be a contest that's apparently based on a true story, a contest where um, they're going to pick the best player in Gran Turismo to actually drive in a racing, a real race. And uh, so it's all about the guy who is the best who wins, and then he gets to be a race car driver, but he's really a video game guy, and then he becomes a great race car driver, I guess. I guess. Uh, David Arbor is the man who trains him. Orlando Bloom is the crazy marketer who came up with the idea. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't even like the video game, quite frankly. Directed by Neil Blomkamp. Screenplay by Jason Hall and Zach Blalin. And play. It has no limits. I, you know, I hate racing games because I think they're boring. If it's a racing game where there's machine guns on the car and zombies on the track, yeah, sign me up. Um, but if it's just a racing car game, eh, meh. It doesn't appeal to me. Not my thing. Um, is it going to be a good movie? It sounds like a stupid premise to me. I mean, I assume they did have a contest in which a Gran Turismo winner could drive a race car, but I assume he wasn't in an actual race and... You know, and even if he was, he probably lost. Or else I would have heard about it, I would think. I would have heard about a oh, video game racer. Uh, he became a real race car driver. That's crazy. That sounds like something the media would run with. But, you know, for a movie, it's not an awful premise, I guess, if you're really into racing and video games. I don't know that... It's awfully ham-fisted, this setup, because it's like, you spend all your time playing video games, but Dad, you said we should dream big. Oh, that's, that's not realistic, son. You're going to have to work in the train yards, like me. <laughs> Was he one of the guys in the Fast and the Furious? I can't remember. He looks familiar. I know I've seen him in stuff before. I'm going to realize my dream, Dad, playing video games and, and doing race car stuff. Ah, uh, it's a silly dream, son. Oh my god, he's realized his dream? <laughs> it's the dumbest thing. So, the first act, he has this dream. And then he finds out about the, the contest. Second act, he enters the contest. And, I don't know, he qualifies to go to the next round. And then Orlando Bloom's doing this thing. He picks him as one of the best Gran Turismo video gamers. And so... He gets David Arbor to train him. And, uh, you know, David Arbor, oh, this is this is crazy. And the race car drivers are going to hate you. And everything's stacked against you. And there's a helicopter for some reason. I don't know, is that part of the game? There's his dad. And then he races and he becomes the best. And then he gets into the big race with the race car drivers and then uh, they even say this in the trailer. Oh my god, this is a trailer I, I've raced a thousand times. Oh, it's from the video game. And so, because he played a video game, he can race a car. That's like the same logic these people go, Oh my god, uh, Grand Theft Auto. If people play that, they'll become criminals. They'll develop the skills to become criminals. Yeah, yeah, I really know how to jack a car now that I've played Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I really have the strength to pull a guy, you know, twice my size out of the car, punch him in the face and get in the car and take off before he realizes what's happening. Yeah, I won't have to contend with the seatbelt at all. Um, yeah, I mean, look. If you're looking for a movie that's a 
kind of a summery movie. You don't have to think too much, and you like race cars. And this video game, you might think, ah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I think if you want an actual movie with, um, I don't know, a story and not a video game tie-in, uh, that, that facial expression sums it up for me. Mm. I think if you want an actual movie, you should see an actual movie with a story. I think if you want to play Gran Turismo, go play it. Don't, don't waste your money on this movie. I mean, for the $14 you spend on this movie, I, I assume you could buy a, an earlier version of Gran Turismo off of, like, Steam. It's a million racing games or some sort of uh, uh, added, you know, bell and whistle that you could stick on your virtual race car. I mean, what is Gran Turismo? It's a name. It's a brand. It's, it's more selling of this brand. Oh, we got a brand. Let's turn it into a movie. Yeah. Oh, everybody likes this movie. Uh, I mean, it doesn't seem to be woke. I mean, the cast is, the main characters are diverse, but so what? It doesn't matter who it is. I mean, it's not like there's a character in this video game. Um, but then, I don't know. Will it be woke? Does it even matter? I don't know. Wokeness, I don't know how you even apply it to this. <laughs> I'm sure they could, given enough time, but I don't think it's woke, but uh, it does look, again, like a two-hour video game. I mean, the only video game movie I would even consider seeing at this point is maybe Mario Brothers, because everybody seems to like it. Seems like it's it's worth seeing. I mean, I played Mario Brothers, and I, I, I like Mario Brothers. Um, even that, though, I don't think is going to be a great story. I don't think video game movies are a good thing to do I think video games are their own thing you know and I don't even like the movie and as much as I like video games I don't even like the movies about video gamers who are trapped in a video game I mean I'm sick of that so I guess Gran Turismo I guess <laughs> and that's it for me Tony D and Little Joan check us out on Odyssey BitChute and Rumble for our more base takes you can find a more base take. Take it. I'll be at the Hamilton Mall in Mays Landing, New Jersey on Saturday from 10 to 5 for Free Comic Book Day. That's the event name. I forgot. Uh, free Comic Book Day. A lot of other creators are coming out. So it's going to be a big show in the mall. So come on out. Rain or shine. It'll be inside. Who cares? Then I'll be at uh, LBI at Beach Haven, New Jersey on Sunday at 2 p.m. for my uh, book signing at the LBI Book Swap. So that's a, that's a nice time. Uh, so a great weekend for me. Hope to see you there, and we'll see you in the next one.